summer may be drawing to a close, sadly, but <laughs> farmers markets around the region will still be open for a couple of months, a few more indeed, and because of that, we are doing things a little differently today for What's Cooking. Our Fox 5 garden expert, Derek Thomas, shows us how to take advantage of all of the locally grown fruits and vegetables that are at their peak of perfection right now. He got a farmers market tour from Bernadine Prince, co-director of Fresh Farm Markets. What's really great right now, the, the middle of August through the end of September is the most bountiful time at farmers markets. And look in here, these heirloom tomatoes. The tomatoes are gorgeous. Gorgeous, beautiful, you'll smell them. Absolutely and, and, wonderful. And now how can is, I tell if this is a good tomato? Oh wow. First of all, you need to just take it and smell it. Smell that. I mean, you can smell the tomato flavor. Oh, Look how beautiful that is they are. wonderous. And these are fabulous. Green zebras tomatoes. <laughs> these are very, very wonderful in a salad. I can see that. And look at this. This is this is a chocolate tomato. I mean, look at the variety, the color. Unbelievable. This is the farm at Sunnyside. They're growing in Washington, Virginia. Organically grown. Everything that you see on this farm stand. I tell you what I'm really smelling is the basil. The basil. It is just wondrous. <laughs> <laughs> well, it perfumes the market just like when they open the truck and start bringing this food out. And, you know, producer only, we visit these farms. They have a formal application to be here. Now, this farm tells me these tomatoes are going to be in the market until the frost comes. You know, Wonderful. Area, so so it's not too late to come out and, and visit your visit your market. Now, Bernie, I want to go try some of these peaches. you got to try the peaches and also the plums. You know, it was almost as good a year for plums as it was for tomatoes. The growing conditions were just perfect. Mm. White that peaches, yellow peaches. wonderful. You know, they also have here a mango peach. It's a peach that has got the flavor of a mango and a little harder flesh than most normal peaches. Perfect for grilling. Grilling wow. along with those hot dogs. Now, or now tell me something. How can I tell if that cantaloupe is right? Because I've I've gone to the I've gone to the market before and I've gotten home with a cantaloupe that wasn't quite there. Well, he's got to open it up for you for one thing, but one of but the But if things he didn't think, open it, one of the things to do would it be the thumping test? Well, I don't think the thump works. I think you should smell it. I think you should the smell. that beautiful it's, melon. It's the smell at the end right here. Right smell at the, at the end. Uh, it right at the is stem heaven. end. Right at the stem end. It's stem going to smell like it's going to taste. It's exactly how you So smelling it. right at the stem, right at the stem. Mm -hmm. will tell you what the taste is yes. going to be like. Yeah. Yum. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. And so how long will we have melons at the market? Like two or three. Two through a mix, yeah. So it's getting to be that fall transition almost. Yeah. So yeah. now after the melons are available, what will we have coming apples, in? Apples, pears. Apples, pears. Okay. Um, yeah. apples and basically pears. apples and pears is the main fall thing. Apple cider is a big, big one in the fall. Now what about corn this time of the year? Do we have any corn available? We should I have some corn. Here. I saw some from the eastern shore of Maryland up on the top Because the, the eastern shore here. is known for its corn, right? Known for its corn and also the fact that this is the season. You know, middle of August starts coming into the market. So we're still in season for corn. We're still in season for corn and what will happen as long as it rains, we get a little bit of rain out there, we'll have corn through the end of the month. At Wonderful. Least, maybe early September. But yeah, look at now this. see this and this is just, look Now at this that. farmer, Sand Hill Farm, she makes them pick it this morning. This got picked this morning. So this you is fresh this. picked today. Oh man, smell it. I mean, it's so good. Look how that's beautiful good. it is. That is really good. Really, I mean, that's really what you're going nice. to see is the variety of the product, also the freshness of the product. You're not going to find that. This is not road weary food. No frequent file miles it. here. I love Absolutely it. Fresh. Absolutely fresh. Absolutely fresh. Now tell me, so if we wanted to come down here, we can find out more information. Your website is, is freshfarmmarkets.org. Okay. And we've got eight markets, four in D.C., four in Maryland. This Ben Quarter Market started in 2003. This season it will go from April through the third week in November. Okay. So we'll be down here. Those apples, pears, cider, we'll still have all the baked goods, all the wonderful cheeses, all that buffalo and pork, the fresh eggs. So you're going to see a so, lot in the markets. Freshfarmmarket.org. And if you wanted to, you can check out myfoxdc.com to find out more information on the markets. We've got, we're going to have a link on the website there. Thank you.